Uh, good morning, everybody. I got a few verses to share with you this morning from my car before we start school. And these are the verses. I hope you guys have been able to stay consistent with reading God's word. Um, I really actually think that's probably one of the, the or one of the biggest things that will keep you close to God through this time. Um, it's easy to just get distracted from it and get lazy at home because you don't have a lot to do. Um, but don't let this be one of the things that you stop doing. All right. God's word is is our food as Christians. So we need we need that. So let's open God's word and let's see um, what we can find. So these verses are actually something that Chelsea uh, found and wanted to share with you guys. And she videoed herself and she hates it. She just hates videoing herself and seeing herself. And um, I'm not going to say I love it. But um, anyway, she just she doesn't enjoy it. So, if you want to see her on more of these videos, you're going to have to comment in the, in the you have to comment and say we want to see Chelsea again. And then maybe I can convince her. So, see how that works. All right, so the verses I have for you guys today is in in the in the book of Psalms chapter 19. I'll let you turn there. No, I'm kidding. You can pause the video if you want to. Psalm 19 verse 12 to 14. So, three verses. Ready? Here we go. How can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. Verse 14 says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So the psalmist, the guy who wrote this, is saying this as a prayer to God. He says, how can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? There's stuff lurking in there that I don't even know about. How can I know all those things? Um, he's, and he says, cleanse me, God, cleanse me from those things, those sins that I have inside me that I don't even know about. Clean me, cleanse me, show me that my sin. It says also, so those are sins that I don't know about. Those are sins that stuff that I'm doing inside that I don't even know. And then the next verse says, also, keep your servant from deliberate sin. That's sin that I do on purpose. Okay. So he said, give me strength to resist temptation and not sin on purpose. Sometimes we have desires, things that we want to do. We want to yell at our brothers and sisters. or We want to watch that movie we know we shouldn't. And when we know we shouldn't and we choose to anyways, we call that deliberate sin. That's sin that we do on purpose. All right. And he says, keep your servant keep me it's saying keep me from from doing that from deliberately sinning don't let my sin control me in verse 13 don't let them control me don't let my sins control me it says then if you cleanse my heart of all the stuff i don't know that's all the bad stuff i don't even know about that's going on in there and if you strengthen me so i can resist temptation for the stuff that i um would do on purpose if we get rid of all of that then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. He's like, then I can have a clean conscience. Then I can um, go throughout my day with, a, yeah, like a, a clean conscience, right? And then the last part, verse 14 says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. So what are you saying there? Uh, let everything that comes out of my mouth, let the things that I think about, let all of them be pleasing to you. So, um, you guys, real quick, you have that same opportunity to pray that same prayer. It's a prayer I want to pray today. It's a prayer that I hope you guys pray today. It's God, clean my heart. Clean my heart from sin that I know about, the sins I desire to do. Protect me. Keep me from those things. Those things that I don't even know about that I'm doing, clean those too. Get rid of those. Show me those so I can confess them. And then ultimately, as I go throughout today, it says, um, I want the words of my mouth everything I say and the things I think about, the meditations of my heart, the things I think about, I want all of that to be pleasing, glorifying to you today. So I hope that is your prayer and you guys have some really practical ways you can put this, um, really practical ways you can do this today. Let, what does it say? Let them, uh, let the words of my mouth, that means you guys have plenty of opportunity to guard the words that come out of your mouth. All right, you have plenty of opportunity to guard the thoughts that are in your mind. So we have a big task today of guarding our, just kind of like the mask video I did about protecting other people from 
our own harsh words. We have that task today. We have beyond just that. We have protecting the things we think about. Those things that you let your mind think about you know you shouldn't. Uh, let's get rid of that today. Let's get rid of it. And um, I just want to remind you that this uh, psalm was written before Jesus. And so he had a lot of weight was on the, the psalmist to do this himself. And we can praise God that today, because of Jesus, we have him standing in the gap between us and God. And Jesus is our righteousness. So when we... Um, when we do sin and when we do mess up, there is forgiveness through the blood of Jesus, right? And also, because of the death, I'm sorry, because Jesus died and then conquered, the, conquered death and conquered sin, he gives us the power to live in victory. So that means when we go through today, we can, through Jesus, not through our own strength, but through Jesus, if we rely on him, he will give us the strength to resist temptation. It doesn't mean you're going to do it every time, but as you rely on him, you will continue to grow and move away from your sin. So hope that's an encouragement to you guys. Have an awesome day. We really miss you guys and hopefully we'll be able to see you guys again soon. Let's keep praying that this coronavirus um, peaks and that we can get back to normal. All right, see ya. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a special shout out to Jocelyn Pantoja for um, being a faithful subscriber and being with us since day one. Thank you, Josie.